Right, uh, this is just a quick update on the attempted murder people are saying uh, that happened just up top of the street from me in the flats that uh, burnt down I believe towards back end of last year just after they'd been done up. It's sort of next door to the carpet shop across the road from Kung Fu shop on Barnsley Road. Now there were a police van parked in that outside them flats on end all taped off and everything because the lad was beat up and robbed round back at flats and left unconscious where a concerned member of public rang an ambulance and he was rushed to LGI uh, basically in a coma so uh, I'd actually just shown Marty Blackwood of them flats and everything uh, and the people that are getting accused I saw them earlier that day as well the lad that they're saying that's got beat up is a lad called Paddy Jones I don't know him myself uh, I don't associate around that circle of people but he's been lured there and robbed from what I can gather beat after death to the point he were left in a coma and it would if dear whether he were going to live or die so the people I've talked to are saying that the copper in the van had told them that it's at least attempt murder which it is it's uh, robbery with violence at very least at the very least, they're looking at a ten stretch. Whoever's done it, and rightly so, you can't, you can't do things like that. You can't go robbing few people just because you ain't got no. That ain't the way to do it. You don't do things like that. This is what I mean. People have got no morals these days. There's no such thing as old school. All them old school morals are gone. And that's because of the drugs that came in in the 80s. Then everybody were going to jail for drugs, amphetamine and heroin. And that went on for 10 years. Of people that would even rob their own granny. Just to put drugs in their arms. A lot on them are dead now, and that's their own doing. They knew what they were getting into. I've had mates die on that stuff. I've never been near it, and I would never do that. Now, there are two people that are heroin addicts. There's the addicts that can afford it, the work, and the pay for their own habits. And then you've got smackheads. Smackheads will even rob their own families and their own anybody close because nobody else will let them anywhere near them. And they're the type of people that have beat this man half to death up top of my street. And I couldn't report on it because of my bail conditions. I can't even film a police officer for social media. I can't paint them in bad light whatsoever at the moment. But with all due respect, without police there would be anarchy. Now, there's a lot of people uh, already spreading rumours about that at Top of the Street. You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be spreading rumours. Whoever has done that needs to be nicked. 
That ain't right by any standards. You do not rob off your own doorstep. That is not done. You don't shit on your own doorstep. There's other people, they're getting set up all over the village with all sorts of stuff. And why, why, why do they, why, what sort of models is that? Scumbags, that's what they are. They beat that lad half to death, for what? Few quid. And they've robbed him because they knew him. Otherwise, he wouldn't have come and met him up there, would he? So he did know him. You can't do that. How can you expect people to trust you? When you've got no morals. None whatsoever. They're just low lives. Fair enough, the police are low lives. A lot of them. And I believe that there isn't such a thing as a good one, but that's another matter. And I can't talk about that at minute. I've got to answer my bail tomorrow. And I'm told they want to interview me again and pack me back off out with bail condi same bail conditions. Which is ridiculous. Then bail conditions infringe on my civil liberties. They're telling me I can't go in any council buildings or anything, nothing at all, not even police station, anything, any government buildings. But council tax is coming up soon. I bet they'd expect me to pay that as well. Well, you can know what you can do with that, don't you? We are not getting the services, so I'm sorry you're not getting the money and you can whistle. I'll go to jail for it, I'm not bothered. Few weeks, lay down, get away from stress. Just lay down and chill for a bit. You people conditioned me to that by trying your short, sharp shot, didn't work. Well, I didn't even get short, sharp shock. Short, sharp shock were DC, detention centre. And that, the, the idea of the short, sharp shock, short, sharp shock, was to shock you into thinking, wow, I'm not having none of this borsal carry on. Because DC were a mini session of Borstal and then it depended which Borstal you went to there were a lot of cushy Borstals like Weatherby worst two Borstals when I were doing Borstal was Everthorpe Stokey they were worst two nobody wanted to go to them and they were longest sentence ones as well and they all varied Atfield, it was six months from sentence. You could be three months getting to Atfield, but the time you get to Atfield, you've only got a couple of weeks left. And you got out. If you were going to Everfort, it was ten months from gate. So by the time you got to Everfort, if it took you four months to get there, that's fourteen months you're gonna do on that whack of our stuff. And that's the earliest time you're going to get out. So that's 14 months. Big difference, isn't there? Six months from sentence, so there's a big difference. But a barstool boy should have been a barstool boy. Open or closed, same sentence. Same amount of time, that's what it should have been. All fair, but they weren't fair, were they? As I've said before, Mr. David Peake set my partner behaviour at St. Camilla's and then I went on to Barstow Prison and all that because of the mindset that set me into and the criminals I met on them different sentences. So, 
I only intended this one to be a short video. So uh, I'm going to try and not go on too much. And uh, I'd like to say about this uh, new lockdown and these COVID centres being overrun and everything. If you saw Marty Blackburn in the last few days, has done Otley COVID centre. Not one patient, not one. And every single one that us boys have covered, we have never seen a patient. When we did Franklin a few weeks ago, not one patient. I was even asking them if I could get tested. As far as they knew, they didn't know who I was from Adam. So why weren't they answering my questions? Just because I had a camera. They didn't even say turn your camera off, did they, to me? No patience. I believe it's uh, some sort of scam. We are living now in no better than open prison conditions. There's people at Hatfield Prison now living by the same conditions that we are. Exactly. They can't go anywhere. We can't go anywhere. We've got what we need. They've got what they need. Believe me, they have got what they need. Big up you boys at Hatfield. When I came and did HMP Hatfield, I didn't know it was life was finishing off. I didn't, I don't do research. I was there to report when I was there as a Barstool boy. It did get out of hand and I'm sorry and I'm going to curb the way I speak to the staff and the women prison staff especially. I think it was atrocious the manner I talked to them and I didn't mean to imply that they personally uh, were being accused of anything because I wasn't, I didn't mean that. I never actually thought about what I was doing. Uh, right at the beginning, I just wanted to tell my story uh, and get all it all documented down because people have been telling me to write a book for years and now I see it sensing what they're saying because they're all prisoners I've been connected to over the years, Panther, Ripper, Frankie Fraser, uh, Paul Sykes, K-Twins, just to mention a few but all down to centre of being in contact with them all at some point through different sentences and I've kept a few juicy bits back of my uh, videos that will be revealed in the book uh, so I'd just like to take this opportunity to say that I'm just putting this video up now and uh, Letting everybody know that I answer my bail tomorrow and I think uh, I'll get back to you tomorrow after I've come out of police station obviously. I answer my bail at half past twelve tomorrow so happy 21, 2021 everybody. Big respect to uh, none of your business. Rob, Lip Free, Society X, Sherlock Jones, Youthful Transparency, just to mention a few, The Whip Lady, uh, Barry Proudman, just to mention a few boys, big respect to you all, thank you, big respect, check in with you tomorrow, thank you.